Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the White Tails Dynasty as we take on the Maryland Terrapins in their first game in the American Athletic Conference as they are in a rebuilding state. Look at their first two games. They are 0-2. They lost to number one Texas, so that means that Auburn lost, and then West Virginia by seven points. Adam Miller, through the first couple of games, well, he's looked pretty good. He did have a three-interception game, so his interception ratio to touchdown ratio is one-to-one -one with four and four. Our running game has been spread out throughout all of our running backs, which is something we've wanted. Receiving-wise, well, the big three are doing well. Brett Hill, Xavier Storm, and Yarbrough. Xavier Storm came onto the scene and really hit the ground running. And, and on defense... Our, our pressure isn't really getting there. Ryan Robinson and Kavoris have a sack, and our secondary is doing actually pretty good. But we have kind of an easier opponent here at quarterback, the red shirt freshman Melvin Bush. He's a pocket passer. He won't run too much, but he will try to tuck it and run if, you know, he doesn't see anything because he's a young quarterback. Receiving-wise, they do have Ed Hendricks, who is a great speed receiver, 98 speed. 99 acceleration 94 overall he's really good so we're gonna have our hands full covering him so here we go we do start out this game with the ball at home with a full sellout crowd and here is xavier storm back to receive the kick and out comes adam miller who didn't throw a touchdown in last week but he's looking to bounce back in this one so let's start this game out under center this time here's a quick throw across the middle that's javon oliver who was our tight end in season one after uh, Chris Coretta came on. He kind of took a back seat to Coretta, but he picks up the first catch of the game. Adam Miller gets the first down on a six yard carry. Now on a second and seven. Here's a counter play out to left side. Jabari Blaze trying to fight up the middle and he only gets a gain of about five yards. And that brings it to a third and two from the shotgun. Another counter play this time, bam, Cameron is gonna get tackled. Behind the line by the Maryland defense that time, Chance Campbell, and it's gonna be a punt here already for the Whitetails. So here comes Bush out onto the field, red shirt freshman, throw across the middle, that's gonna be incomplete as he couldn't find his man on that one. And that brings us to a third and 10. Bush, we're setting a blitz, throw across the middle, it's gonna be picked off, that's Nathan Beaver, the first interception of his career. He takes it back inside the 15 yard line. Beaver was just watching the quarterback's eyes and Bush makes a mistake. And that is gonna be the first interception of Beaver's career. So now first and goal, here's a handoff. Up the middle, that's Jabari flight, fighting forward for about five yards. And now that brings it to an eventual third and goal at about the one yard line. Handoff, this time Blaze trying to fight forward. He gets tackled at the one again. So now we have a decision to make. Do we go for it here on a fourth and goal? And we are gonna do it. Look who we bring in. We bring in Beaver, lining up at quarterback. He's gonna sneak in, he's gonna get in. Touchdown, one yard out. Nathan Beaver, and there we go. We are on the board, seven nothing. After the Beaver turnover, he gets the touchdown as well. So now here we are up, seven nothing here at home. After the turnover, here is Bush handing it off to Watts on the draw play. He's got speed at running back. He's gonna pick up a gain of 12, tackled by Nathan Beaver. He's been busy in this one. So now second and 10 from the shotgun. Here is Bush, this time facing pressure, stepping up in the pocket, gonna get rid of it to Haynes, and he's gonna break a tackle, and tackled by Beaver again, all over this game so far. So now at about the 50 yard line, second and eight. Bush, throw across the middle. He's gonna find Hendricks, who's gonna dive and catch that one. Nice catch by the speedy receiver that time. And they got another first down. So now on a second and 10 play, here's Watts on the draw play, but that's gonna be a stop behind the line. Brad Robinson, who was a big recruit for us last year. I really like him on the interior part of the line. As they now get into a third and 13. This time Bush has all day to throw. Throws it to the right side. He's got a man, Lewis, down the right sideline. And where was the pressure on that one? Bush sat in the pocket all day. It's a first down. So now first and goal, handoff to the right side. This time Watts is gonna get stopped by Derek and Pinto. And that is gonna be a tackle by Tucker Conquo. And now they get into a third and goal, Bush. 
from the shotgun. He's going to throw to the left side. He's got a man, Hendricks, in the end zone, but he steps out. So it's only a gain of seven, and Maryland doesn't like to go for it, unlike us. And they settle for three. So here is Adam Miller back out onto the field. Bam Cameron in the game. Throw to the left side, though. That's Brett Hill on the sideline. Nice pinpoint throw by Adam Miller. He finds Brett Hill, the senior. So now second and 10. Throw to the same spot. Brett Hill and man coverage this time. Gets open 15 yards and a first down. So Jabari Blaze in the game. This time handoff up the middle. Blaze gets about eight yards, maybe nine on that one. And now that brings us to a second and one. Miller giving it right back to him. Blaze fighting forward, breaking a tackle. He picks up the first down as we're now inside the 30-yard line on that carry. So Miller from the shotgun this time. Four wide receivers out there. A lot of guys are throwing too, but he is going to get hit on the throw by Gote. And that brings it to a third and 10. So many weapons to throw it to. To the left side, that's Doug Johnson. And it's going to be a first down for the senior. Remember, he played both sides of the ball freshman year, played defense uh, his sophomore year, and last year switched back to receiver. And now he's in his senior season as Brett Hill gets pushed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. So now third and 10, Miller lobs it to the end zone. He's got a man, that's Xavier Storm. Touchdown for Xavier Storm. He gets in and that's a perfect throw. Take a look, beats the press coverage off of the line and he gets open and that's a lot of speed at receiver in the slot. That's a touchdown. It's 14 to three for the Whitetails. So here is Bush back onto the field, trying to hand the ball off to Watts, trying to get loose, and he can only get a gain of two. This defense is playing well so far. So now third and eight, Bush from the shotgun. This time setting a blitz, and we're gonna get there. It's Ryan Robinson, the, I believe he's a junior. He gets in for the sack, and here we go. We look like we're rolling here to open up American Athletic Conference play. So Miller here from the shotgun. This time, three wide receivers out to the left side. There's Marlon Yarbrough getting it open across the field. And man, can you say anything bad about this receiving core this year? They've been doing their job to the fullest. Here's a throw across the middle here. Brett Hill, the transfer, who's been on the team for two years now. He picks up the first down. He's filled in quite nicely. So here on a second and 10, this time Miller throws to the right side and somehow gets it to Xavier Storm. Maybe a lucky throw on that one. And that makes it a third and two. We're gonna try the counter play again. It failed earlier. This time it's gonna fail again. Bam, Cameron gets absolutely laid out. And we are going to actually line up to go for it. Fourth and two, we are in field goal range, but why not be aggressive? Set a tone. Miller throws across the middle. He's got Brett Hill, the transfer junior, who is now a senior, and he picks up the first down. So Miller has been moving the ball quite well on this drive. Here is a handoff in the pistol formation to Jabari Blaze. And one thing I do want to get in the playbook a little bit more are pistol tight end sets. I really like those sets as here's a throw across the middle. It's bro. touchdown, nine yards out. And look at that play fake. That safety was absolutely fooled on that one. He moved to the right side and didn't have enough time to get back to bro. It's 21 to three. So here is Maryland back onto the field. Watts finally finds a lot of room up the middle. He picks up a gain of 23 as he's up to 51 yards rushing on just that carry. So here's Bush this time trying to get rid of it. It's a sack on the play, and this time it's going to be Blake Childress. Remember that name. He's in on a lot of pass rushing situations. He gets his first sack of his career, and that makes it a second in 14. Here is Bush thrown out to the left side. This time finding his tight end, Love, who's going to break forward for about nine yards, and that brings it to a third and five. Two wide receivers out to the right side and a tight end. Here is Watts on the draw play, trying to get loose, but he can't. He gets tackled, and Watts tries to fight forward, but it's a tackle by Marvin Woods, and they settle for another field goal as we're winding down this first half. Here's Brett Hill getting open on the left sideline. He's got nine yards, as Adam Miller has just shown some accuracy. He doesn't miss many throws, and that's the big difference between him and Nathan Beaver. Be Miller is just accurate. Here's another throw to the right side. That's Xavier Storm, 20 yards. Everybody's touching the ball this game. 
So now here is Miller, this time from the pistol. Throw across the middle, wide open. That is Yarbrough for another first down as this clock runs inside of 30 seconds left here in the first half. So from the pistol formation, Adam Miller, Adam Murphy is in the game. Here's a throw across the middle. Brett Hill, he's got a lot of room up the seam, and he's going to make it to about the eight-yard line, a gain of 31, as Brett Hill is almost at 100 yards in this one. So 13 seconds left. This time, Miller is going to scramble out to the left side. He's going to take it himself and slide down at about the four-yard line. We will call a timeout and try to run one more play here before half. So six seconds left from the pistol again. Throw across the middle. It's Brett Hill. Touchdown. Four yards out. And what a drive there to end the first half. Four incompletions, three touchdowns. Almost has as many touchdowns as incompletions in this one. And we're going into halftime 28 to 6. It's a blowout. So now to start the second half, we have played great football on both sides of the ball. Oh, here's a throw across the middle. And Nathan Beaver drops his second interception of the game. That could have been a big one. And now we get him to a third and 10 under center. Bush throws to the right side. He's going to overthrow his man. Look at him. He is six for 15. I mean, man, not having a good game this time. See here on the punt. Here's Xavier Storm. He can't hold on to it. He muffs the punt. And Maryland recovers. So they finally get a break in this one as now they are set up on the other side of the field in good field position. Throw across the middle. Hendricks, touchdown, Maryland. He gets in, and the speedy receiver gets in for the touchdown. Melvin Bush finally gets a good throw on that one. He's 8 for 18. Wow. But they do go for two, and there's another throw across the middle. John Davis, three yards out, and that is a two-possession game now as well. Wow, that may have just turned things. But here is Miller backing onto the field, throwing the ball across the middle. That is Brett Hill for a big catch and a first down. So now first and 10 handoff. This time Jabari Blaze breaks to the outside. He's got eight yards. Jabari has run the ball really well the last couple of years. And the progression he made from season two that was, and he was a freshman, I mean, it's been dramatic. Here's Adam Miller scrambling out to the right side. This time he's taking it himself, getting a gain of 19. And that moves the ball across the 50, but a penalty moves us right back. Here's a deep shot down the right sideline. It's going to be overthrown for Xavier Storm. And now that brings us to a third and 20. This time, Miller, good protection. He's going to line up, throw the ball deep, and he's going to be overthrowing Yarbrough on that one. Tried to make an adjustment, and he couldn't adjust. And we punt the ball away. So now Maryland, with the score, can make it a one-possession game. Here's a throw deep down the left side, and that's going to be tipped by Quintaris Jones. Nice defense on that one. So now third and 10, this time Bush gotcha, is going to face some pressure. This time he's going down. It's Zane Alexander coming in from the nickel position. A clean shot at the quarterback. That's every defensive player's dream. So here on the punt, here's Xavier Storm back to receive this one. Hopefully he doesn't muff it. He does get it cleanly. He's going to break to the left side. This time he's got a lot of room, and he's going to get pushed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line he makes up for that fumble earlier. So here we are inside a great field position, but this time Maryland is sending the pressure chance. Campbell again who's having a big game. He gets the sack. Third and 11, throw across the middle. It's Xavier Storm open, 14 yards. Just line him up everywhere. He gets the ball. It's a first down. So Jabari Blaze from the pistol formation, handoff up the middle. He only gets a gain of two, and that brings us to a third and goal. We give it right back to Blaze, this time trying to fight forward. He does get stopped at the one, but you know what we're going to here on the one-yard line. Bringing in Beaver for the QB sneak. He gets in again. That's a touchdown for Beaver, his second of the game. And he's having himself a great game. An interception, a deflection. He maybe have two. And then another touchdown on the ground. So here is Bush from the shotgun. Throwing out to the right side. Finding his tight end love. That's only going for two yards as we move on to the fourth quarter here. And Maryland down three scores. Bush. Throwing out to the left side. He's finding Lewis, and he's going to cough it up. And that's a big hit by who else? Nathan Beaver coughs it up, and Zane Alexander falls on it. Man, Beaver is having himself a great game. Look at this hit. 
he puts on the receiver and it jars the ball loose as well. Look at the white tails in this one. We are opening up conference play with a shellacking here at home as we decide to bring in our backup quarterback up 21 points. Bryant Simmons was a recruit for us last season. He redshirted and now he's getting his opportunity to get in the game. So his first snap, here he is, scrambling out to the left side. Nobody to throw it to. He's going to take it himself. He can run a little bit. He's in the mid-70s in speed. He's not exactly a mobile quarterback, but he can move when he has to. So now, third and seven, his first throw across the middle of the field. It's Xavier Storm, puts on a move, and he's in for the touchdown, 42 yards. Take another look at this play. Xavier Storm puts on a show, just makes defenders look silly. And wow, look at that. The defender actually dove and knocked out his own guy. Xavier Storm does the rest. What can't this guy do? So now we're back out on defense with the 28 point lead. Here is Watts on the draw play. He's gonna get up the middle. That's only a gain of four as he moves it to about the 45 yard line, third and six. This time Bush, he's gonna have all day to throw. Throw out to the left side. He's got Haynes who's gonna get tackled and they're down by 28 points. So they are gonna line up to go for it here on a fourth and four. They decide to run the screen, pass out to the right side. Watts picks up a couple of blocks and gets the first down. And that's a nice gain for him, gain of 16. But it's just a, probably a little too late, but just trying to get some points on the board. So here is Bush. This time, he's got to throw the ball away. Justin Jamison was in there right away. Wow, what a defensive move on that one, getting to the quarterback. Throw across the middle, third and 10. Haynes finally gets a catch on this one. And Woods, that was probably his best throw of the game. Bush, his best throw of the game, and he picks up the first down. So now Watts inside the 10 yard line, picking up another first down. As now Maryland is finally starting to move the ball, but it may be a little too late. Haynes does get the handoff. In for the touchdown, making it back to a 21 point lead. But now they have to kick these onside kicks and it just may be a little too late as we do get it recovered by Javon Oliver. And we set up on the other side of the 50. So now, close to two minutes left here in the game. Brian Simmons throw out to left side. Marlon Yarbrough still in the game. He picks up a nice gain of about 17 on that one, and it's a first down. Glad to see that we have quarterbacks who can throw the ball behind Miller. Here's a throw across the middle. That's Xavier Storm, 10 yards. Brian Simmons looks pretty good. Handoff, Jabari Blaze fights forward. Open hole, five yards. And now we're putting together another drive with our backup quarterback, Bryant. Handoff up the middle, Adam Murphy fights forward. Touchdown, Adam Murphy. As now we have blown up this game. 49 points here at home. So now 22 seconds left here in the game. Here is Watts, handoff up the middle. He's gonna break free down the right sideline with 20 seconds left here in the game. He gets tackled at about the 32 and Maryland actually calls a timeout. I'm not sure why. First and 10, throw out to left side. It's gonna be an interception and look who it is. Beaver, his second interception of the game. Wow, what a way to end this game. He catches that one actually with one hand. What do you know? And Beaver just having himself a day as he gets two interceptions, two touchdowns, and he is the player of the game as Adam Miller pretty much is perfect in this one. 21 for 27, three touchdowns. What a game from him. Our running backs all do well. Uh, Jabari Blaze ran the ball well. So did Adam Murphy. Brett Hill and Xavier Storm both go over 100 yards on nine receptions. Xavier Storm with that incredible catch and run at the end of the third quarter, of the fourth quarter. And uh, just looking at this, Beaver, two interceptions. We had three sacks in the game as well. Zane Alexander got one. Ryan Robinson got one and Blake Childress got one, and Nathan Beaver actually had a forced fumble. I forgot about that one. Wow, what a game from him. I mean, two interceptions, a forced fumble, and two rushing touchdowns. I mean, man, can you ask for anything more out of the guy who was the leader on the offensive side just a season ago? So now we will be going into the recruiting episode next episode, and look at this. I've never seen a number one player in recruiting out of Maine. Have you guys ever seen that? I've never seen that. And look at that, the number four guy is from Utah. I mean, 
some weird stuff going on in this recruiting class, but it's going to be fun. A lot of good recruits here. And look at this. It's usually like a lot of Michigan guys at the top and Ohio guys, but we're actually seeing a couple of Maine guys. There's a five-star guard out of Maine just now in Hawaii. I mean, this is an interesting recruiting class, and I'm, I'm actually excited for this season. So next episode, we will look at the custom recruits. You guys have been waiting, and it's going to be here next episode. So hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.